Hey guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out, man. I'm on vacation up here with my uh, wife's family in Detroit, Michigan, or actually Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. It's absolutely fantastic weekend. Family time is a lot of fun. We deserve this. And uh, one of the coolest things is, you know, you're on vacation, you're getting away from shooting videos about guns. But uh, my brother-in-law says, hey, I've got something that you might be interested in taking a look at. This belonged to my father, and uh, it's pretty unique. Check this out, guys. This is a Colt 1903 32 rimless, smokeless, hammerless pocket pistol. Getting ready to do a quick review on this thing. Don't know a whole lot about it, but we're going to go through it. Stand by. All right, guys, so what we're looking at here, this is a 1913 Colt 32 ACP. And it says right here, Calibre 32 rimless, smokeless automatic Colt. And when he handed this thing to me, I was just totally overwhelmed. I, I had never seen anything like it. Uh, they're not as uncommon. There's about 516,000 of these things were made. But in good condition, they're probably worth about three grand, which is really cool. A good one like this one, uh, probably around four or five hundred bucks. But this one has the original grips. These are uh, wood not sure what type of wood but uh, anyway let's just go ahead and <laughs> we'll do it like just any other review let's go front to back okay so on the back side we've got a set of dovetails uh, sights right here on the front you've got a set of embedded sights right here perfect this thing is hammerless the hammerless is <laughs> covered in the shroud now one of the cool things about it I want to show you right here is that it has a the safety is right there. So what we can do, let's go ahead, we'll cock it, put it up in there, and can't pull it. Also this acts as the slide release, or the slide catch. So you do it like this, bring that down, and there you go, boom, slide release. You got an open chamber right here, extractor right there. I mean, I'm not going to go ahead and pull this thing apart, but it basically, the interiors are all the same as feed ramp up in there. It comes with an 8 round magazine. The magazine's not with me right now. Uh, the same, the mag release is European style right there. You see that knurling is just absolutely impeccable. The cool thing about this also is, take a look at this. Hold on. Oh yeah, look at that slide release, man. Everything about this, it was built in 1903. I think these were actually manufactured. It's called a 1903, but they were manufactured roughly around um, 1913, somewhere along in there. But this was like the gentleman's gun. You came out uh, you just uh, put it in your pocket. But uh, where was I? Oh, one of the things I wanted to show you, go ahead and put the slide release, bring it like that, is look at the grip safety. Now they incorporated the grip safety on this one, but the cool thing is, is it runs from the toe or the heel of the grip all the way up to the beaver tail section. Look at that. That is just as cool as it can be. And it, one of the most unusual things about this gun is that it is tight. The only thing that you're hearing right there is the barrel. This thing's over 100 years old and it is absolutely impeccably clean, and tight, and amazing. Look at those grips. Engraved, got the pony right there. Colt going across there. You can see up in here where the hammer pin is located right there. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, I'm going to do some detailed photos of this thing. It's probably not going to be as detailed as the ones I do in the shop, but it's pretty cool. Now, <clears throat> it is a straight pullback trigger. Check this out. Grip safety works. The trigger pull on this little booger is impeccable. I mean, just a beautiful little firearm. It's got some wear on it, some patina on, this, on the metal, but you know, for a gun that's been probably tossed around for many years, this is perfect. It still fires, from what I understand. I, th I would love to have gotten out to the range and uh, test fired it, but I'm not really uh, that big of a deal on that kind of thing. It's uh, basically the same takedown. You've got a, a detent pin right here, I believe, that releases the, uh, or holds back the uh, the drive rod, there's your barrel bushing, and I'm not going to go through the takedown process because, first of all, I don't really know the takedown process. You got some serrations in the back, 
but this thing is just such a nice little pistol and it is so clean look at that thing absolutely perfect man 1903 32 uh, ACP Colt unbelievable there's a couple videos out there a couple really nice reviews of people doing on these things but uh, this is in the family this is uh, hopefully get handed down to my son unless uh, Uncle Matthias has a uh, little boy of his own who we'll see but anyway, it's a really nice family heirloom. It's supposed to be here all the time. And that's the way it is. 1903 Colt. You know, one of the cool things about this pistol is it belonged to my wife's father. And he was a very unique guy. He was uh, an Air Force man. Flew in World War II. And a really unique person. But uh, this was handed down from uh, Mr. Chuck to his son, Matthias. And uh, hopefully this thing will stay in the family for a very, very long time. It's a really cool deal. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, that kind of thing. Uh, we've got a lot of cool videos that have been out in the past. And again, we're on vacation, and I'm sitting here playing with a gun. Unbelievable. It's Codeboy32. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for your support. Out.